Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Everything in this video was found on a public domain. Full disclaimer down below. Lots of love and many blessings your way. I released a video yesterday talking about the Queen's Christmas message and I just thought I'd jump the gun. I wanted to take it down and really do it the right way. So here we go. Everybody's talking about the pictures that were on the desks surrounding the Queen. Some folks have said, well, those are past and future kings, blah, blah, blah. And that could be very well the case. However, if you had the honor, the privilege of having yet another great grandchild, you would take more than the three seconds to flash a picture that has already been proven photoshopped. I felt like her Christmas message was quite encrypted. Typically over the years, she has really flowed. Everything seemed to make sense. And in my opinion, she was trying to make a point, but getting there seemed a little scattered. Fast forward hours later, and here's what's being said. The people who have dissected every move she's made, every word that's puffed out of her mouth, are now saying in their professional experience and opinion, the bulk of the Christmas message was absolutely intended for Meghan and Harry. The rift between the family and overcoming whatever challenges they're having behind the scenes, such as skipping out on the royal family's Christmas. Let's face it, it's never been a secret since she's popped onto the scene that everybody that ever loved and cared for her in the past have said, look, she's a user, an abuser, a social climber. She'll throw you away like a napkin once she's finished with you. She loves to be the center of attention and she'll manipulate her way to get there. Here's what they're saying is the real reason she decided, hey Harry, we don't need to spend time this year with your 93 year old grandmother and your ailing grandfather. All of a sudden, she's fearful about being separated from her one year old child. That's what they said. And he does look quite 12 months. She's fretting over the control that the Queen has over Archie. And it was totally leaked out that that's the excuse she's been given for not allowing the family to interact with Archie. That's lame. She knew the deal before she said, I do. Speaking of lame, I want to talk about the Christmas card again. Archie does look like a much different child than the ones we've seen in the past. And he looks far older, in my opinion, than just seven months. But that's not my biggest problem. Does he really look like Harry to you? Everybody has said to me, check out the ears. Look at his ears. He is the exact same ear shape and position as Marcus Anderson. And that's why Harry said in Morocco in front of the entire world, are you sure it's my child? Now, before we get to my discoveries, let's take a look at the relationship between Harry and Meghan. Can you feel the true love between the two? When they're not totally arguing in front of everybody, when he's not scolding her and she's not trying to take charge, he always has a sourpuss look on his face. And of course, she's throwing up her best cheesy grin. Even her dad, who says, hey, I know my daughter, and that is not an authentic smile. That was a huge concern for Mr. Markle in the beginning of all of this. And speaking of the beginning of all of this, what did they know when they were just dating prior to their engagement that nobody else did? that the queen had her sent to a fertility clinic to see how fertile she was on the down low, even prior to their engagement announcement. And I find that completely weird, but not as weird as Marcus and Megan's relationship. Remember Bogart and her other dog that she rescued? She spent some major time with these animals, loved them, took pictures of them, posed with them. Why is Marcus claiming them to be his? In this Instagram picture, hashtag my dog's rule. I thought they were hers. Doesn't she seem so far more in love with Marcus and he with her? It seemed like in the past, wherever Megan was, he was right behind her. Why in the world would you allow this friend to get in the way of your marriage? You know what I'm saying? With your prince husband. He has. Months ago, I was contacted by two people that claimed to know Marcus. And in our conversation, they said he's as big a social climber as she is. He's just not as loud about it. And in their opinion, there was much more to Megan and Marcus than met the eye. And back in the day, they didn't really try to hide it. And I asked questions 
typical, normal questions. Is he married? Is he gay? Is he straight? What's the deal? He's bisexual in their opinion. Love is love. And no, he doesn't have children that they knew of. Yet his Instagram profile says that he's an architect, a father, a best friend, a traveler, a father? To who? The love these two have between them is quite obvious. Missing you, Anderson underscore Marcus, XO, XO, wrote Megan. From the beginning, it's like they were just so codependent on each other. She couldn't even drop him for her husband to be. We know that she's been bringing Marcus to several galas, events, private affairs held by the royal family, where no media, no pictures were allowed. For example, this commemorative dinner for African Parks Network at Kensington Palace. Next thing we know, pictures are being leaked out by an attendee at this event. Who else would be standing there with Megan and Harry? Look at how close these pictures are. What a nasty sneak. She's involved. It's going to catch up with them, I'm telling you. If it hasn't already, remember the weekend of the baby shower when Marcus Anderson was shoved towards the back of the vehicle when they were getting Megan out. She disregarded the words, the advice of the security people that are being paid to watch her, and she stopped in the middle of traffic to make sure he was okay and by her side. As nervous as this security man looks, they found it super funny. How disrespectful. I wanted to say thank you to the Daily Mail. Much respect to y'all for not allowing these people to back you in a corner. Now let's talk about Archie, the Christmas card, and his features. I was told initially they were going to retract this Christmas card, but then her friend came out swinging, talking about, I took the picture. I know it wasn't photoshopped. Okay. And? Like I trust them? Uh-uh. I don't. Now getting back to the baby. It seems like there's been a couple of babies used. In my opinion, none of them look the same. And I understand children change very quickly as babies. I just don't know if a child could change as quickly as this one has. I don't see a bit of Harry in that child. Initially, I thought I did. But this child I'm looking at here does not look like Harry to me. Several months ago, I found a program that you could take, you know, the father, the mother, and you can put them together and it would generate a child. The features are what I'm looking at here. What stands out the most? The ear shape, the eyes, the lips. And that was between her and Marcus Anderson. Is this the reason why Archie's not allowed to be around the rest of the family? Or do you buy her fear of the queen's rights to her child? We should all buy stock in the Soho House brand. It was almost like her main objective, hopping into this relationship, was using the platform to spread the word about the Soho House brand. Mission accomplished. There's been more hype and attention brought to it than it ever has. Thanks to Megan. Her future seems set whether she's with Harry or not as a result. Seems like their strategy is working. What a hustle, truly. I have a problem with where they're saying they spent Christmas. They're in British Columbia at North Sonic, and I hope I said that right. If we're to believe the PR articles that are out there floating around in the media, they're staying in a chalet with people around, staying on a little peninsula. It's not like they're on a deserted island somewhere. Where are the pictures? Where's the people talking about it? Here's the mistake I noticed in one of their articles. Here in America, we use the term security guard, which is sort of like a lighter version of a cop. And the one single couple that have claimed to have seen and met them, talk about meeting their security guard. Which totally proves to me that an American company, they're the ones behind these articles. Do you think Harry would go anywhere without his RPOs? I don't think so either. Even at the gym, he takes a RPO, a Royal Protection Officer. When he watches tennis, he brings his RPO. Do you really think he's going to take the chance of leaping out without his RPO? Or do you think they have a bunch of security officers? And it's truly not the same thing. I promise. It's a play on words, exactly like the Queen's Christmas message. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.